One of the benefits of showing up at the hospital in the middle of the night with a kidney infection is that the first thing they do Take this with a full cup of water. Just give you something to bring down your fever and subdue the agonizing pain you're in. Is Vicodin? Yes. Five milligrams? Uh, yes. I know what you're all thinking. I am, um, I got my wisdom teeth taken up like a year ago and they gave me Vicodin. It, it just wasn't, it wasn't good for me. It really, really upsets my stomach. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'll just go with plain Tylenols. Are you sure? Kidney infections are extremely painful. I'm sure. Unless, I can't quite remember what they put me on instead. It was like, I don't know, it sounded like a candy name. It was like a, like Ro Roxa, like Roxas. Roxaset? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Roxaset, yeah. I'll go with that. 7.5 milligrams. Okay, let me check with the doctor. Thanks. It's not a relapse if it's warranted. It's a hall pass. God, please don't get in the way. According to the paperwork that your mother filled out, it appears that you have some pretty extreme substance abuse issues, so I think you're right. We should just stick with Tylenol. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know, if I ever come back here with cancer, I really hope you're not my doctor. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> Wait, can I, can I still get the Vicodin? They put me on Cipro, which is the antibiotic they give to people that are exposed to anthrax. Started me on Lexapro, which is one of the few antidepressants that doesn't make me crazier. And kept me there for three days. It was actually really nice. I love hospitals. If I could spend the rest of my life in a hospital, I would. Hey. Because when you're in a hospital, you have zero responsibilities. <laughs> they make sure you eat, sleep, stay hydrated, and if anything bad happens, there's always a doctor nearby. Thank you. <laughs> it's also the best place to be in the event of a mass shooting, unless a gunman kills all the surgeons. Point is, I had zero anxiety. Gentlemen, hands right now. Then at nighttime, when everyone's asleep, if I close my eyes and imagine all the little beeps to be the sounds of birds and the lukewarm air blowing through the vent to be a warm breeze, your hospital bed can sort of feel like a poolside chair on a hot summer night in the Caribbean. Plus, Jules came to visit. Did all this happen because I left? No. You promise? Yeah, I promise. I've been like this my whole life, Jules. Not all the time, but sometimes. You make it better, though. We're not telling you the truth. For everyone who was calling me manic, I was like 92% correct.